Hi, this is Vicky with Condi Systems Tech Support here today to show you how to use a Corel Draw template from our Condi webpage, how to import the template into Corel after you've saved it, and also how to use the Power Clip tool to use the template with an image of your choice. I want to go to the browser and we're going to start here. We're going to type in condi.com. press enter and this is our support page and from here we're going to click on support and we're going to use our login to log in again if you don't have a login username get with your account manager to tell you how to uh, get that started for you And we're going to go to the support members area here. And I'm going to click on templates. That's one way to do it. Another way to get your template is to click here, enter in your, uh, your part number or your product number, which is U6034 is what we're going to use today. And then from your drop down menu where it defaults as drivers, click products and do a search and we're going to use the U6034 lanyard ID badge. And that's going to take us to the product page and just to let you know from a product page you should be able to see a little scroll window here with similar products of uh, FRP our name badges. Also this is your template download. You should see an instruction on how to um, press to this particular product and videos uh, are also located on the majority of our product pages um, if there's no video there then stay tuned there will be so we're just going to click here to download the template it's going to ask me to open or save I want to choose save save is going to give me a zip file a zip file is a compressed file with um, uh, various are numerous documents included and it's asking me where I want to save this file to. I'm just going to go ahead and save it to the desktop and uh, I'm just going to close this for now minimize my screen and I'm going to find my uh, downloaded file here and I've already saved it in my CDR file so I'm just going to move it over here I'm going to open this file. There's my download. I'm going to right click and right, right click is going to allow me to left click on extract all and it's asking me where I want to extract it to. If this is not the location then you would choose from your browse here and it looks like it's going to go into the folder I've created so that's what I want. I'm going to say extract. Okay and now I have a folder that I can uh, select files from. Inside this folder you're going to see a variety of uh, formats including Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, a PDF and also your Adobe Illustrator for your Mac versions you people who use Mac and then the Corel Draw versions uh, including the version 9 which is uh, important to people who have version 9 because version 9 will not open uh, with any other uh, version of Corel other than the earlier version so going back one I've already selected the file I want to use and to open that file I can right click and do open with or I can just double click and it's going to open it in X4 okay now I'm ready to import my image so I'm ready to click file and keep in mind with uh, Corel Draw, you can um, open an image inside your uh, document by importing only, not open. And now I need to choose where that uh, image is, so I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where I saved everything. And 
course uh, your image may be located somewhere else just make sure that uh, you know where that image is and have your image uh, prepared meaning sized and ready any tweaks that you want to make to it make sure you've done that prior to using the uh, template the templates are not there to reshape the image in any way so um, it's just there to uh, use as a keyhole for uh, a visual on how your image will look once it's uh, ready to sublimate. As you can see I have a um, little tag here ready to Im I'm sorry to power clip inside this box we'll call it uh, a keyhole and uh, what I want to do now is make sure that I have this, these border boxes around what I want to power clip in. Power clip is a tool inside Corel Draw that will move an image over into a boxed in area in which you choose. So you have to select that object before you can use the power clip. So how do you know if it's selected? You'll see your border boxes uh, here. If you don't, make sure you choose your era, your pick tool over here to the top left in your tools menu. You're going to use your pick tool and then select the object. Okay, with that done, you're going to go up and go over to effects in your menu. Scroll down to power clip and you're going to have this little black arrow and you're going to be able to place in container and uh, for you Corel Draw users this would work with uh, the majority or all of the versions of Corel that we use here at Condi so uh, it would go the same way in X5 and uh, the earlier versions of Corel so I'm going to left click on place inside container that gives me a big black arrow and that arrow is going to allow me to take the selected object and then just click over here to the edge of the box and I can power clip it in there just like that. Now what I have now is a printable image that is contained inside a keyhole uh, that gives me some idea what this is going to look like when I get ready to uh, sublimate it. And um, So I want to look at it a little closer. I'm just going to scroll in on it. Now let's say for instance I wanted to edit this image and maybe it wasn't lined up correctly. While it's inside this contained box I can right click on it and I should be able to extract contents or edit contents. Well I just want to edit it. So I'm just going to do this. Now um, you can still see the light line here where the box stops and starts. Uh, that little purple line but I should be able to use my pick tool and move it around. See how that moves around and uh, lets me position it or tweak it uh, the way that I want it to appear when it's uh, completely sublimated. Now that I'm finished editing, I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say finish editing this level. And I'm going to left click there and that takes me back to uh, where I was um, but a little more tweaked in now. So having this uh, power clip tool it's a very handy tool for using Photoshop, I'm sorry, Corel Draw templates. Um, if you have any questions on how to use Corel Draw templates here at Condi you can contact me. My name is Vicki and uh, I'm in the tech support department and I'm happy to walk through this with you on how to use our templates here at Condi. Also, uh, stay tuned for our videos, upcoming videos. We're always updating our videos. You can find information on Condi.com on our tech support page. And if you have any questions on how to do um, support uh, templates here that are made here at Condi, then give us a call at 1-800-826-6332 and we'll be happy to walk you through it or demonstrate it for you. Again, my name is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support and thank you for your time.